stampers this is dawn and today we're gonna make this cute little basket and it's the featured project for our stampin anonymous tutorials for march so the idea is that the six of us will take the featured project of the month and we'll reduplicate it in a video so you can see hopefully six different ways to make that one project that's highlighted in one of the six tutorials for the month of March. So this is my twist on this month's featured project. I made mine into a makeup basket and I would so give this to my daughter Jessica. She would really love all this makeup. So mine inside holds a face powder, a lipstick and an eyeliner. But how cute is that? So I'm going to change mine to a slightly bigger so I'll have both sizes to show you towards the end of the video. I'll show you the difference between the two. So let's go ahead and get started. So just a quick reminder, I'm live every Wednesday in the Glitter Pit, which is my Facebook Live. Wednesday at 3 o'clock, I'm always live. And we made this project. So if you want to catch the replay on this little basket, you can check out the link down below that's listed in the description box. And then I also went live again yesterday at 7 o'clock which I normally don't go live twice in one day, but I thought I'd put my paper pumpkin cards together with all of you that have paper pumpkin or you just want to come and hang out with nothing else to do, right? With all of us being um, isolated into our homes. So I thought it'd be a fun way to connect with all of you and have fun creating. So two videos from the glitter pit, the basket, and then also the paper pumpkin in both. And to get to the two videos that are listed for the replay are listed down below in the description box. They'll take you to my blog and then you can scroll down and see the videos. All right, so let's start with the project we're making today. Now this is the designer paper I'm using, which is called Follow Your Art. And it's more of an artsy crafty designer paper, but I love this paper design over here. I thought it was really cute for a makeup bag or a basket. And this is the Clipso Coral. And I'm using the larger piece here, which is cut at three and three quarter by nine. But this one right here is the size that's in the tutorial. This piece is cut at two and three quarter by nine. So like I said, you can make this any size as tall as you want just by changing the, the width of it. So like this is the three and three quarter, and then that's the two and three quarter. So it's an inch bigger. So we'll show you the basket after we get it done to compared to this one here. All right, then you're gonna need two pieces cut at half inch by nine. This is gonna be for the border on your designer paper. And then also one for the handle, which is cut at a half inch by eight. And then I'm also using the Whisper White. So the border here around the sides, you can see that I used Eclipse of Coral. And I'm changing that to white too, so there's a slight change. And then also the handle is in Whisper White. All right, so then the box part, this piece is cut at three by four, and this is also in the Whisper White. And then I went ahead and stamped and colored one of the lipsticks. And these are the dies that coordinate with the Dress to Impress stamp set which looks like this. Here's the lipstick and then I also use Be As Bold As Your Lipstick for the greeting on the front. And then this also has a die which is all dressed up dies. But you can get this in a bundle and save 10% right now. Then the Be As Bold As Your Lipstick, I punch that out with the second largest die right here. And this is from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So I punch that out with the Big Shot after I stamped it, I ran that through the, the die cutting machine, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our paper trimmer. Okay, so we're going to score this three by four piece. We're gonna score it at three fourths inch on all four sides. So we're gonna, I'm gonna use this right hand side of my paper trimmer and I'm going to score, not cut. Okay, so I, Scored all four sides at three fourths. Now we're going to go ahead and cut. Let me move my paper trimmer. Okay, so I'm going to cut on the two score lines right here and right here. And then the opposite side the same way. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put some liquid glue on these four tabs. Okay, we're just gonna fold in our tabs. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the little box that's going to form our larger basket. So now we're using the designer paper. So remember, this is the Follow Your Art designer paper. This is cut at three and three quarter by nine. And then the two strips of Whisper White are a half inch by nine. But I cut mine a little bit longer so I can trim it down to fit perfectly. But you'll want it to be the same size as your designer paper when it's all done. So we're just putting one strip at the very bottom. Yep. And then another strip at the top. What's nice with the liquid glue is that it's very forgiving. Okay, so since I cut mine longer, let me go ahead and trim the Whisper White strips off. Okay, so we want that to stick really, really good. Okay, so I'm just pressing this on there. All right, now we're gonna grab some tear and tape. And this time we're gonna take the tear and tape, we're gonna wrap it around the, the box part. And I'm going to start on one end, just wrap that around. Tear and tape there so I can carry it over and then tear it down. Just like that. You can remove the backing of the tear and tape on our box. And then I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Now making sure you want to keep your stars and heart, especially if you have directional designer paper, meaning if it goes a certain way, you want to make sure that it's sitting the right way on your box for your basket. So on my one end, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to put tear and tape on one end. So let me take that backing off of that tear and tape. Okay, so this is gonna be applied to the basket the last. So we're gonna start on this end here, and I'm gonna to start towards the back of the box. And you wanna take this edge here and line it up at the very bottom edge of your, of your box. So right there, and you're gonna be pressing this as you go. So we're gonna wrap it around like that. Pressing that around. Box. Okay, so now this is where our tear and tape is. So now we're going to wrap it around and then seal that up on the back side. So this, where the seam is for our basket, will be considered the back of our box. Just like that. And I like to give it a good squeeze right here to kind of form the basket. Isn't that cute? So you can see already how much taller it is. It's only an inch, but it really does make a difference, especially if you want to put a lot more goodies inside. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and put our handle now you could use tear and tape for the handle. I'm going to use liquid glue. Before we put the handle on, we want to use our bone folder and just give this handle a good curve. So we're going to drag our bone folder across the whisper white piece of cardstock. So it gives it a natural curve here. So we can put this on the basket and it's already got a curve shape to it to make the handle. side over just like that isn't that adorable all right then for the front we're going to decorate it 
Let me show you what I did for the lipstick here. So there's our greeting. And then I stamped two of the lipsticks. So I used the Poppy Parade Light and the Stampin' Blends and then also the Smoky Slate Light. So I'm going to take the Smoky Slate. I'm just going to add a little shadowing on the lipstick. All right, then we're going to take our Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to put dimensionals on the back side of the lipstick. Making sure to know the seam is in the back. So this is going to be for the front. And then we'll pop our lipstick up. So cute. Isn't that adorable? And then I have some shreddy here. So I'm just going to put some of this in our basket. And of course you could put makeup and then also I grabbed some nail polish. You could put nail polish in here. It'd probably fit both of these nail polishes in here really nicely. But the nail polish fits. And then here's the smaller size. Remember this is the two and three quarter wide instead of the three and three quarter wide. So super cute. Okay, so let me show you the, the project that we made in the glitter pit, which is this Easter basket. So cute. And then last night at 7 o'clock in the glitter pit, we made our paper pumpkin kit. So adorable. Hopefully you could join me for the next week's live on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern. We'll make another project together. But you can catch out the replay with the link down below in the description box. Okay, so then also the Stampin' Anonymous tutorials are free to all my customers that place any size order. And they're written tutorials. They're not video tutorials. So six tutorials written with photos and with step-by-step -step instructions. So you can get this for free for the month of March. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I have all the items listed below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.